Royal Marines structure is made up of five components. You've got the three commander units that do all the battle fighting at the front line. You've then got the, the fourth component, which is the command support group. And then the fifth component is the commando logistic regiment. And that makes up your Royal Marines structure. The Royal Marines are part of the Royal Navy and we are an amphibious force. To get the five components from the ship to the shore, we need landing craft. The landing craft land on the beach and they're from 539 Assault Squadron. We supplied 40% of UK, United Kingdom Special Forces, SAS and SPS. A very demanding and very tough course. You need to be extremely fit and motivated to take on such a challenge. Fleet Protection Group Royal Marines are based up in Scotland. They look after the nuclear submarines that are housed in the naval base there. The Royal Marines is not all about uh, war fighting. On occasions we do get involved in ceremonial duties in London for Remembrance Day and such parades. We also uh, get involved in peacekeeping operations, more recently peacekeeping in Kosovo. Our reputation goes with us, so we just turn up with that, we're in the, we're in the berry and they know who we are, what we're here to do, we're here to help. The lads do enjoy the peacekeeping as much as they do the war fighting. There are 26 different specialisations in the Royal Marines. Normally you'll spend two years as General Duties Marine and then you're going to specialise within a specific field. You can either specialise as a General Duty Soldier or you can specialise into a trade. Uh, for example, you, as what I'm doing now, being a coxswain on the, on the Raiders, uh, you can be VPs on the LCVPs, landing craft vehicle personnel, or you can be a driver, you can be a vehicle mechanic. If you want to be a Royal Marines driver, we'll train you to drive all the various vehicles that we have in the Royal Marines. Well, I'm a mechanic, I've uh, been doing it for just over four years now, and up to now I've got all my driving licenses, I've got motorbike, coaches, I can drive any, any weight of vehicle. We have a heavy weapons specialisation. They specialise in heavy weapons air defence, heavy weapons mortars and also heavy weapons anti-tank. It's good, you're working in smaller teams, there's, there's more emphasis on the actual fighting against armour and taking out more important vehicles that may affect the battle. I'm employed as a clerk within the Royal Marines and my day-to-day -day job is basically um, sorting out the pay for the ranks in, within 4-2. Well, the intelligence branch, uh, basically what we're going to do is offer graphic support out to people as well as intelligence. Uh, one thing that we can do that other branches of the armed forces can't is support ourselves, which is what Marines are all about, we're self-supporting. Many of the specialisations in the Royal Marines offer civilian accreditation. You can pick up NVQs as a chef. Uh, I mean, the experience is second to none, really. Plus, you're also a Royal Marine and you're expected to do the job of a Royal Marine as well. Whatever specialisation you serve with, you're a Royal Marine first and you're there to pick up your weapon and deploy it on operations at short notice. We're looking for someone with self-discipline, who's prepared to adapt to a changing environment, who's of average fitness, who would like a challenge in their life, work in a team environment and overall win the coveted Royal Marines Green Beret. I have no regrets joining Royal Marines, you know, if, if you want to come through the gates of Limston and do the same, you know, it's there. I love it, I'm really, really proud. Someone asked me what I do for a living, so I'm in the Royal Marines, and I'm like, oh, good effort. I just think it's a fantastic job.